All right, I was at a flea market a couple weeks ago and uh, didn't really need anything, but I came across these two different saws here. Uh, the first one here is a 42 inch uh, warranted superior crosscut saw, and uh, I got it for 20 bucks and uh, went to search it up on the internet. And it's worth about 100 bucks, but um, it is dull. Uh, actually, I cut this piece of wood in half from, from these two here, so. Um, came out like powder, so. so need to run a file over those teeth and get the teeth set, and we'll try cutting it with it again. But you know, I'm not. I didn't buy it because I want to cut wood. I bought it because it was pretty cool. Anyways, um, I got this saw for 35 bucks. Um, it's a Tecumseh. Tecumseh. It's made in uh, Wisconsin and um, just a little bit of history on it. It's from the 1950s so this saw is about 60 years old right now. Um, the guy that I bought it from he said he had it in his garage for about 10 years and he bought it for a project and he never did touch it at all so um, I asked him if it ran and he has no idea so the first thing I did was pull this and, and the clutch is not engaging so that's going to be one of the first things we got to fix there um, other thing <clears throat> I looked inside the gas tank and full of rust not too bad but there's quite a bit of rust in there so I'll take some apple cider vinegar and distilled water and baking soda and we'll clean that out this side here is the oiler for the chain and there's actually oil inside there so that's good and this is actually the oil for oiler button for the and I can hear it pumping in there and I hear it squirting out somewhere I'm not sure exactly where it's squirting but you know there's just not much in there so I'm wondering if it was froze up without being able to crank it so I rotate the chain and there's actually compression, so that's that's good. Um, I guess the next thing is to figure out if we got any spark. So, but yeah, it's a pretty cool looking old saw. Um, for 35 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So hopefully, we'll get it running and get it looking back to the original. Uh, so way it was made with this gold color here so looks like this carburetor needs to be cleaned up this filter right here looks like a piece of old foam um, it's very brittle so you could just just falling apart so we're just keeping this here just to keep stuff from going inside the carburetor looks like there should be a screen over top of the air cleaner there so we'll, we'll replace that um, throttle looks like a little gummed up so I got some carb cleaner and we'll clean up this carburetor and um, yeah just a little project so every once in a while I'll, I'll probably tinker with it so it's not my priority but I'd like to get it running though so I cut down some of these weeds or something I don't know alrighty if you know anything about these saws hey share that information down below appreciate it thanks